Hang on, I'm trying to find. Oh, hello. Uh -oh. No, we're, hi. we're on. We're on now. Yeah, no, I, I know. I figured I was saying hi nervously to everybody who's watching. No. Hi. <laughs> oh, why? Where did our fancy transition go? Where oh, did our fancy is. transition go? No, it's a. Uh... Hey, I'm very fancy transition, so <laughs> I have a I'm silk leaving. robe. <laughs> I have the fanciest transition. I'm no, not I'm sorry. leaving too. Nick, Nick, hold up. I'm coming with you. I'll stop stream, guys. It was a good run. Um, <laughs> Arnor, thank you so much for being awesome. <laughs> um, and we're, I mean, we're up. I've got hidden room. Start. I've got, I've got the swan up if, if you want to. Okay. I'll, I'll set it up. You, you start. Oh, I forgot that your weasel's on your character still. <laughs> I miss him. You miss him, easy. Did he come back with you? Yeah. This is this is one hell of a chaos opening. <laughs> Hello, know. everybody. Hi. It's Monday night. You know what that means. Well, it's Monday day, but you know what that means. It means disaster children doing things disastrously. It's going critical, and you are watching Hellions of Karnak, uh, a live play theater of the mind D and D stream. Wherein, <laughs> wherein I cause emotional damage over and over and over again. Emotional damage. I'm glad that I worked in a pause because I knew one of you was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning before we start the stream, this is an adult stream. We do handle adult themes. There is swearing. It's usually me because I don't know what polite company means. Um... Uh, but we do want you at home to also practice safe streaming. So if during the course of the show you come across a scene that makes you uncomfortable, please don't feel obligated to continue to watch said scene. Feel free to take a step back to do whatever you need to. We have a Discord where you can bring that to our attention as well, or you can talk about what's going on. Um, our Discord is really cool. It's a really great place. It's definitely like somewhere that you can go to chat and hang out and stuff, so check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I am joined. I, your DM, am joined. <laughs> I'm joined. I'm nameless. I'm just nameless. This is a mess of an opening. Um, <laughs> when are okay, openings six. actually clean? Yeah. Uh, never. Mainly because <laughs> I'm never prepared. But yeah, I'm joined by my fantastic cast. Introduce yourself, guys. Mm -mm. Um, my name is... <laughs> My name is Emily. I'm an artist. Uh, I play Sant, the Changeling Warlock Sorcerer. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, can you wait? What were you, we were doing who do we trust the least in the party, right? Yeah. For yes. fun facts. Is it is it PC party or is this include like Ba and Balthasar too? Why not both? Okay, well, yeah, um... Do both, do both. I want to know who you trust. Yeah, and I'm like, who is it? <laughs> so, Xanth would absolutely curb stomp uh, Balthazar. It's probably one of the least trusting people he, <laughs> he knows ever. Um, <laughs> in the party party, with just the characters that you see on the right here, I would say... I would honestly say maybe Yuli, because she and Yenna are both new, and he doesn't really know anything about Yuli at this point. That's fair. <laughs> it's come so sad. No, I sound I sound sadder than I am. I'm sorry. It's the, <laughs> it's the this illness. Isn't, this isn't <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Ned, I'm Ned. <laughs> I know it's my turn. Um, hi, I'm Ned. I'm found on the internet as at the Ned Barnett. I am a comic writer and artist, um, and I play Monty, our half-elf uh, rogue fighter. Um, and so uh, the person Monty doesn't trust anyone in the party, but the person he trusts m most among the least is Xanth, and he hasn't quite figured out where anyone else fits. So he doesn't trust like 
the rest of the party at all at all. Um, wow. Because yeah, I feel he used to trust. 14. He used to he used to trust Ba. <laughs> Ba's dead. Wow. Uh, <laughs> look, decisions were made. It's not my fault. It's totally my fault that Ba is dead. Yeah. Um, you killed him. I did. I did. Yeah. I did kill him. He's gone. Oh well. Oh, wow. oh my god. Danny. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Danny. Uh, I'm an artist or something. Um, I play Yenna. I also play Gigi on tomorrow's stream. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing I do. Uh, ba -ba -ba. honestly, probably Monty, just because they like. I don't think Monty and Yenna have interacted literally at all yet. I don't, I don't think they've actually either. even spoken to each other at this point, so <laughs> it's just like, that guy's weird. Xanth is, like, the next one, and the only interaction has been, like, thanks for the shoe. Yeet! <laughs> so... it's, honestly, I feel like that's that's the line of, like, that's the course of action. Those are the two you should just leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like they haven't really, like, interacted, so it has no vibe mm -hmm. so far. Um, hi everybody, I'm Dodger, uh, and I have a toddler who gets me constantly sick, so, uh, I play Yuli, and she's a little anxiety wizard, and I think out of everybody, um, I'm sorry to harp on you guys, I think out of everybody, uh, the person she trusts the least, especially after this specific situation, is Zan. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Because what the fuck's up with that guy who looks just like you? And why were you acting so fucking cagey? Why'd you leave without it? There's all sorts of stuff going on here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I think uh, it, maybe it's not even necessarily a, a trust less than other people thing, but more of a I have so many questions about what's up with Xanth. Um, so, yeah, that would, I think, be my answer. Very fair. <laughs> yeah, very fair. Um, and hello, I'm Nick. I'm also an artist or something. Uh, and <laughs> I'm playing Tank, a high elf artificer. He's a good boy who's never done anything wrong. Um, and the person <laughs> I think in the party that he trusts the least is also Sam. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this bitch fucking pushed him out of a portal just so he wouldn't need to like explain something that would have taken 20 seconds after my boy had just like lost and was beginning to regain his memory are you kidding me hey, like that was not because he didn't want to explain it it was because he didn't want him to stop him from going <laughs> So Xanth is the only one who has been actively antagonistic <laughs> and has like also like your second best friend. <laughs> yeah. This is really saying something, man. This is a this is a toxic group, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this group's toxic as fuck, man. How do any of us get along? You don't. <laughs> as the yeah, DM yeah. sitting here watching you all, you don't. Yuli and Yana, they get on. <laughs> Yeah, that's the true. Rest of you are a mess. <laughs> and like the camera. And, and like, Pink has had minor interactions with Yuli in the past, and the next person would maybe be Yuli because he, you know, <laughs> but like, yeah, I get, I get it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we're we're on the same side, so it's probably we're probably all good here. <laughs> That's it. Well, That's what you get. Now that we've got, yeah. Now that we've got that war making out of the way, and uh, I, I'm the DM, Jess Taylor. I'm here to cause problems and make trouble on purpose. Um, you can find me all over the internet at Doodle and Jess Taylor Arts. Um, I have a book coming out too, so we should do announcements. Yeah. You do. Yeah, let's see the pretty start. First, you have to tell us which one of us you trust the least, like not yeah. the players. The players, not the characters. <laughs> oh. That is a totally different answer. Uh, <laughs> of the players that I trust the least. Hmm. Hmm. I'm ready. 
the the player I simultaneously trust the most and the least is Nick. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, mainly because I, knew it was I don't. <laughs> I just I don't think that even you know what you're going to do until you do it. I don't. <laughs> That's the secret cap. I absolutely. And then have it's no idea. then it's followed by Emily, who is similarly chaotic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Emily who causes problems on purpose. There's, yeah, there's, yeah. There's not a lot of trust when I when I fucking threw the game for a loop the first session. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Like Nick can be counted on maybe to like follow my bullshit. Emily will just drag the plot in the complete opposite direction. And we absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, um, no, 100%. seriously. I love you all wonderfully. <laughs> but if I have it's to dangle Emily. a plot hook in front of your faces, it's like, who do I trust the most to take it? <laughs> Is Emily the untitled goose? <laughs> yeah, the untitled yeah. goose. Yes. Yeah, Emily is untitled goose. <laughs> Session zero, throw in a punch at Monty. It's all good. See, in in uh, Watchers, though, it's the complete opposite, where I trust you as fair as <laughs> I trust oh yeah, Alice no, like yeah. in Watchers, I am there one hundred percent to fuck shit up. That's all I'm there yeah. for. My angsty ass boy is just there to cause problems. Yeah. Um, but speaking of other other things, we do have a stream tomorrow night with one Ooh. of our other DMs, Alex. That is the City of Mist campaign, which is it's called Sleepless Nights, right? Correct. I think yeah. she's over there. She's probably about to touch something that she shouldn't we've been on break for on and off because of illness and all kinds of stuff but i, I think we're finally on schedule like through october there should be no interruptions unless like emergencies happen that is the understanding right now so we're finally going to be on a regular schedule we start at eight eight ish soft live at eight ish on tuesday nights eastern time um yeah it's pretty good it is a very different vibe we're mostly like terrified at all times so come watch it's got some horror shit and gg's about to probably commune with something that's not alive anymore so that'll be fun Uh oh. Hello. 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 You? Oh, hi. Hello. Okay. There was just dead silence. Just no, silence. I was yeah. just done. Yeah. And then I. Guess I... <laughs> oh, we should probably probably mention the other one. I was trying to, but apparently none of you heard me. No. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, no. That, there we go. We did not hear you at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, motherfuckers, listen up. There's another show that we have to announce yet. Yeah. And in honor of AAPI Heritage Month, on the 26th of May, Reckoning in Dawn Shadow will be airing, which has um, Fabs, watch his own Fabs, Rocket and Pens, as DM. And the cast is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, you should definitely go check it out. We've done the full announcement on our Twitter, but that will be starting on the 26th. So put that in your diaries and eat it. <laughs> Tasty. Um, <laughs> yeah, it'll be fucking tasty. Eat it up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm getting off TikTok right now. Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. We should probably start this thing then. Yeah. yeah, we absolutely should. Yeah, sick. So, last time on Hellions of Karnak. A fight has broken out of the swan. The Xanthalike used a basilisk to freeze the patrons and Jenna and Yuli in their tracks. Monty and Xanth rushed into the fight to help while the girls tried to hold their own in battle. Tink and Cowriel used a portal to time travel to the fight from the other side of town. But Tink ended up helplessly watching as his brother finished the battle. As everything ended, everyone found themselves beaten up and some turning to stone. With no way to heal the group and get back to the hotel, Tink found himself grabbing Belial's stone from his pocket, the magical rock. It was warm, glowing, and apparently ready to help. Yeah, so what's so up with all that? Of you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tink, you just turned to Balthazar and you'd asked, what is this, while stealthily trying to show the stone. And you just heard a soft, oh shit. Um... 
The rest of you, please roll me perception. We are on the third floor. <laughs> I got a natural 20. Uh, Outside. Are any of us... what? Sorry, I was gone for the end of last session. Am I a oh, rock? Yeah. Uh, you are... No one is entirely rock. Okay, um, great. And so my, my earsies are probably still out in the world. Yeah. <laughs> things. And I believe you had caught a potion of greater healing. If yes. If you would like to have used that, you totally <laughs> I, yeah, I oh, think. Sick. You can. 100% um, you can use that. Will, wait, did I take a bunch of damage? This is also important. <laughs> Uh, yes, you did. <clears throat> okay, you then took. sure, I would love to use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I think at some point you got hit for like 15 damage. 17. Oh, then I was down. Oh, then but, I was but down. But it would have been after you had the part. Oh, I see. Yeah. Would I have had a so, turn in between? I'm so sorry to make you guys try and recall all no, this. No, you would have had a turn. There was a turn skipped before you were hit. Okay. So um, you would have had the opportunity to drink the potion if you'd have wanted to. Oh, ooh, here's the, th if I'm being totally honest, I would not have drank it because I was at 17 hit points. Okay, so you okay, would have been down and you would have been stabilized. I had also taken a turn to be like, oh, okay, if, if you lease down, she's, she's fine. <laughs> Great. Okay, so, so I'm, at, I'm at one. Okay, got we it. Good. We good. You stable. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Once again, you're stable. Yes. <clears throat> Just like old times. Great, and I roll a 19 perception. <laughs> stable with your eyes wide open, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Barely alive, but a snoop till I die. <laughs> <laughs> Always here for that hot goss. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta know what's going on. She has to know the tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Monty, Xanth, Yuli, you all see the faint glowing coming from Tink's direction. In <laughs> fact, this is the first you probably realize that Tink is there, considering his brother kind of stole the show on entry. Um, other than, like, <laughs> magic being flung that was vaguely like Tink. Yana, you see shit. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> it's a not Yana... one. This is like barely a lot. Listen, Yana's distracted by the fact that she's like half half rock. No, she's staring at Cal. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah, staring at Cariel with flowers in the air and stars mm -hmm. and hearts. Yeah, there's just there's there's a bunch oh, of drones have... happening right now. Yeah, Hearts and stars and rainbows, clovers and the... <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, shoujo yeah, bubble. Yeah, there was a shoujo oh, bubble. Oh god, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. proud. No, it's good. I'm glad it happened. That's <laughs> so what happens when someone vaults from the third story to try and rescue you. Um, it looks like that. <laughs> looks like Tink. <laughs> yes, he's family no, brother. No. He's very strong. No, no. <laughs> Yenna does not believe. <laughs> she has not perceived so, it. <laughs> so, those of you who obviously rolled above a 16, you see that glow. Okay. Will be important depending on what happens next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tink. I want you to roll me a wisdom save. Oh, good. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's a 16, baby. That's a fail, baby. Oh. You had to hit a 17. Ooh. Wow. Okay. You feel this all-consuming warmth come from the stone. Almost as though you've been enveloped in a solid hug. And held close. And the magic of it doesn't feel like the other stones that you've held onto before. You've been healed by Bar in the past, by Belial. Several times. God knows you get in enough accidents. This feels exactly like Bar's magic. 
and you feel the network of the stone that had belonged to Bar open up to you and lend you its power. Mechanically, you have access to three cleric spells as we discussed every long rest. Oh, I meant from, to... from Bar's spell list. I meant to bug you for his spell list. You did mean to bug me for it. Did I can you... let you know that he had access to um, fifth level spells. Okay. And on using all three of these spells, you must roll me a d20. Cool. I love that for me. Um, so what would Tink know of this feeling? Would he like basically be able to decipher this? Cast some some healy things. Yes, essentially. Like, you, long, long time ago, you'd had experience of being a cleric yourself. And this is almost as though when your mind touches the stone and when the stone reaches out to you, it's almost as though the knowledge of certain spells is just tantalizingly within reach. Those of you who are turning to stone, please roll me a constitution check. Okay. Save, sorry, constitution save. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, bad. That's what I like to hear. That's a three. That's a nine. Oh my god. Okay. Yana, Monty, you have oh, <laughs> Yana, Monty, Yuli. <laughs> you Yana both only have one last chance to save yourselves. Yana does have inspiration, this is true. Oh, okay. But isn't it a twelve? Also I don't The think names of these it. dice rolls. Yeah. What? <laughs> Am I rock getting, getting stoned? Getting stoned. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> it's 1d8, inspiration is. Uh, it's a 4, unfortunately, and I don't think it would have been possible anyways. Right. Because it's inspo, it's just, uh, yeah. Since <laughs> it wouldn't have helped anyways, I will let you keep it for another instance if you'd like to. Cool. Um... So I have a question. Uh huh. Can yeah. Because I I feel like he would try in this moment. Mm -hmm. Um, because his homunculus is already down with Yuli and Yenna. Um, to cast greater restoration. Um, you can. But I'm just not sure whether or not that would connect. With the homunculus? Yeah. You can cast these spells through the homunculus. It's okay. still effectively you who's casting them. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, he is gonna do it. He like it's a, we're not we're not gonna sit here and act like he's not going to have an option to have and then do it. So uh, we'll heal all of them through the homunculus so he doesn't have to, you know, run downstairs and risk everyone failing uh another save. With the greater restoration one effect can be removed per target. Ah, uh, it's it's the petrol. Yep. Yeah. So those of you who were slowly turning to stone, mm -hmm. 
you feel a wash of unfamiliar magic crawl across your skin, directed from a tiny buzzing beetle in the air. And ever so slowly, it's as though the magic rewinds. You feel nerve endings come back, the, the tingling of limbs that had fallen asleep as circulation rushes to flesh that hadn't really been flesh. And the petrification is undone. Auntie Fallout However, collapses. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I think Yuli would like immediately drop to the ground, like relieved but also exhausted at one HP. Yeah, I will, I will remind you all that, that you are bottle. in a you are in a room. You'll chuck the bottle. Chug we'll it. Chug the bottle. I'll drink All right, it. Awesome. If if we're out of initiative, I'll drink it. Yeah, go right ahead. Nice. How much is greater restoration? Um, let me just double check my notes. Well, greater restoration isn't. Uh, greater healing potion. Or great. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's forty-four plus four. Great, I'm at full. Amazing, thank you. If only we could use it on your flu. <laughs> oh, God. That would be great. <laughs> I will say that as Greater Restoration takes over you all and you are freed from the confines of stone, you are in the midst of civilians who have fully turned to stone at this point. There's about a hundred people in the room. They are all stone. You just exist amongst a swarm of statues. Old and young, rich and poor. Yana, you see a young elven girl who'd been racing snails. Uh -huh. Is just a statue over in the corner. Aww. Monty, mm -hmm. the soothsayer that you'd had a session with, a statue in the corner. Well, fuck her. <laughs> the band, the band, however, is still okay, and and That's they good. just slowly quieten down the rock song that they've been playing. I I I think we should. Oh, we can't leave everybody like this. What do you, What do you want us to do about it? I I I don't I don't know, but like, but, but at the very least, we should let people somebody know to come and help. I, I yeah, but yeah, we 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 will. I he's gonna look at. Balthazar for a second be like, we can't go back through the room with you. that was I mean it wasn't my but a spell circle? Yeah. We can we can probably do that. Can go back and let let people know that, that something happened. This is my boy like yelling from the third <laughs> yeah, right, I was gonna say we're still very far away from yeah, you, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're yelling from the foot from the third floor, you do see Cowriel just sort of looks up at you and just shrugs a little, hands extended, and is like, "Tink, brother." Tink, I don't think so. <laughs> well, Del. It's, it's very difficult when you have know, like a character that's got a nickname and one person who still <laughs> refuses to use it. Uh, <laughs> Del. Brother, do you forget that I am aiding the police? Simply go back to the hotel, all of you. Go to your safety. Take a rest. Gods know you've been through enough tonight. Yeah, see? See? We, we go back. It'll be fine. Well, it won't be fine. I'll away to the guard. Uh, th thanks. Um, 
question. How far the the back room that they went into at the start of the night? How far yes. away is that from me? Uh, it's the other side of the room. Um, I'm gonna walk over and try to open that door. So you walk over, you jingle the handle a bit. It's locked. Only have knock. <laughs> Wait, no, I have thieves tools. I try to open it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me sleight of hand. <laughs> Do you have proficiency with the, the thieves tools? Uh, it is listed under my proficient tools. Yeah. Nice. nice. You can add your proficiency then. Uh, I got a sixteen. So you take out the lock picks and pop them in the lock and you fiddle with them for a moment until you feel a soft think and the latch undoes the lock I, opens i try not to look too excited <laughs> um yeah i'll open the door and look inside inside you see a gruesome tableau there are ten bodies in various states around the room. Some have been quite clearly stabbed several times. One has had like an arm ripped clean out of the socket. Another has almost been beheaded with the cut to their throat. And they are arranged in what clearly looks like a meeting gone wrong. Santa, your brother is absolutely fucked. Um, oh, okay. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that out loud. That's out of character, but okay. Yuli's thinking it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Can I? Can I make like a Constitution save to see if I can like? see anything beyond the bodies that would be just an investigation okay if you want to puke kind. that's your own business yeah <laughs> if you that's, puke, say, that's your own that's, business that's but great. if you want to find I won't, something i won't do a puke save then <laughs> puking, um, is a, puking is a free action <laughs> <laughs> okay these are fantastic rolls i got a 15 investigation okay with a 15 you see lodged in the very deep cut across the neck of the central figure who is within this comfy leather chair is a playing card. Oh my god. How far away is that from me? You'd have to walk past about four bodies to get there. Do you... I do have mage hand and it's already <laughs> it's still up. Well no it wouldn't be because I because I've died. Quote unquote. <laughs> Little things. I will. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um. I will. I'll take a second to see if I hear anybody, like trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing in here. Do I Can hear we anyone? See what what Yuli's doing. <laughs> Yuli just walked across the room. I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. I tried to be casual, but like, I mean, if anybody was paying any attention, you would have just seen me walk across the room, pick a lock, and go into a room. <laughs> yeah, like, that is what you can see. I am going to jump down from, like, I saw locks being picked. I am going to jump down or jump down from my perch on the floating stage thing. Um, yeah, I, I haven't learned. I've learned to not leave Monsi alone, so I'm coming. And, <laughs> and so I'm going to go follow and be like, so what, what you looking at, Yuli? Uh, no, no, Monsi, no, no. you've just jumped from the second story. Give yep. me a dexterity save to land, please. Absolutely. Uh, do you do roll I do with your shoulder? If I'm not. also following? <laughs> no, because you weren't up there. I was, I was on one floor, right? Or was it so it wasn't uh, the... Zanth, you were outside. Yeah. You were outside on the main level. Yeah. Can I open a window? <laughs> I got an 11 on my deck save. 
Oh, okay, God. so you jump and you envision this really like fly landing where <laughs> an imaginary cape just falls out from behind you and you absolutely just get up and dust it off. Um, you do not. You land, pain shoots up your ankle and you immediately like fall on your knees. I mean, my like my my body did just like wake up from falling asleep, so it's just like yeah. the worst the the absolute worst pain uh, pins and needles that you've ever got. Do I take any damage? You take two full damage. <clears throat> uh, Yuli, what what you looking at? <laughs> I'm gonna um she'll like <laughs> try to kind of close the door you know when like somebody doesn't want you to see inside of their house <laughs> but their head is peeking out she'll do that <laughs> i'm going to stick my hand in the door to prevent her from from closing it or if she does close it it's gonna close on my hand which will not be nice but uh yeah i'm not closing it all the way my head's still there so if you want to put your hand there it's fine um, yeah i'm going to push the door open <laughs> oh okay i was gonna try to give you a heads up but here you go bodies <laughs> oh monty Yes. Roll me a constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> Yuli's fine. <laughs> St I'm stone cold. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so it's con save. That is a 16. Well, it's not, it's not bad at all. No, but I just had a... I just, I just had the oh no of like, what am I going to see that's going to make me yeah. Monty, mm -hmm. you see laid out before you ten bodies in disarray, some mm -hmm. dismembered. One of the bodies doesn't hit you for a moment, then you blink and look down and see a shock of red hair. You know that body. Which of my siblings is that? You can't quite tell, considering how disfigured the face has been. Whether it is Sammy. Or your older brother. I walk into the room and kneel down next to the body and try to see if I can figure out who who it is. Roll me an intelligence check. Just double check my intelligence is. Oh, I have a lot of intelligence. Uh, that is a 13. So for a moment, you poke around, turning the face this way and that. Looking at the different features and seeing what you can pull apart. Interesting choice of words for dismember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, you see features that line up to create the vision of your older brother, Paul. And Monty just like collapse, like full on collapses, and just starts like just staring at the body, and is not just like Paul, Paul, Paul. And he's just like shaking the body's shoulders, like knowing that it's not that he's not going to respond. Uh, Yuli not being very close with Monty, I think will peek her head out the door to see if. Xanther Tink are nearby. 
Thanks, Lona Thirty Four. <laughs> You're out of luck. I, yeah. was... I, I mean, I know that. <laughs> I think Santa was trying to make his way to follow Monty. Um, I don't know if like he would have gone through the window if it was open or openable, or just if not through the front door. Oh, it's it was openable, but uh, give me a sleight of hand to see if you can actually get it open because they're locked. Okay. Natural one. <laughs> You're still stuck outside, Zanth. You can break it if you want to. Uh, yeah, why not? I just walked through the front door. <laughs> I don't... I've come this far. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll to break it? Yeah, roll me a strength check. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you, uh, I'm here to cause problems. Come on, baby, on another nat one. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a what, sorry? A 12. A twelve. Yeah. Yeah, at, at the twelve hits, <laughs> you can break the window for a twelve. Okay. I, I I like to imagine I'm just awkwardly trying to kick up all the shards. <laughs> it was just taking too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you like came out of the room and saw Xanth just like halfway out of a like completely <laughs> shattered window, she would, uh. I think turn back around and go in and just kind of quietly kneel next to Monty and put a hand on his back. Monty's trying not not to cry. And come on, come on. You 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 can't be dead. Come on. There is Can I? no response. Um, <laughs> this is a very. I would like to look in his pockets to see if there's any like indication as to why he was here. Because as far as I knew, he was adventuring elsewhere. So seeing him in Karnak is a surprise, and seeing him dead in Karnak is doubly a surprise. Uh, give me a straight up d twenty roll. That's or a six. actually an Im add your investigation modifier. Okay, that's fourteen. With a fourteen, you manage to find like a couple pieces of detritus out of his pockets that are very poor things for him to have been carrying with him. Um, mm -hmm. A couple of like adventuring kits, um, like pocket lockpicks, things like that. Just mm -hmm. the normal accoutrement of being somebody who is prepared for everything. Um, you also find two written notes. What languages do you speak? Uh, I speak many languages. I speak common, draconic, dwarvish, elvish, orc, and I can read Thieves Cant. You cannot read these. Okay. I am going to... You also find 10 gold. Alright. Jeez. Good for me. I'm gonna, like, throw... I'm gonna, like, put all of his things in my bag. Mm -hmm. Um, and... Um... And... I hope I'm adding my gold to my inventory so I don't forget about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add the things to my to my bag, and then I'm going to just sort of like sit next to his body and just try and after having ransacked his pockets, I'm gonna just like try to put him to rest um, as best I can. You can arrange him so that he looks like he's at peace. It doesn't really help much considering quite what a state he's in, mm -hmm. but you do the best you can. Yuli, would you like to run any more investigations? 
Um, I think all of her focus would be on Monty because she's okay. not really sure like what to say or if she should say anything or ask anything. So she kind of decides to just like be there, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think that she would be looking around anymore. I think she would realize that this is like an important person that is obviously very dead. <clears throat> Monty, would you like to look around anymore? Yeah, I'm gonna try and distract myself from my brother's dead body by uh, <laughs> by looking through everyone else's pockets. Why is that the most Monty thing I have ever I was heard just you gonna say? say like, <laughs> it's very Monty. Hey. I I know my boy very well, and <laughs> Xanth, you are also um, well here by this point. Oh, so I've I've kind of walked in and seen the situation. Yeah, you you kind of turn the corner towards the back room and see all of the bodies laid out. This is an unfortunately familiar sight for you. <laughs> Especially considering the slit throats mm -hmm. and the sheer carnage of it is very um, indicative of your brother's style. Mm -hmm. um, if if Monty like moved on to going through people's pockets again, then I think Yuli would redirect to the card and try to grab that because she never did. Do you want to grab it with hands or with mage I want hand? to grab it with mage hand, please, because I don't know what the fuck that <laughs> is or if it's magical or if it's gross. So You conjure mage hand and it floats away to do your bidding, grabs the card and brings it over to you. And you see an incredibly bloodstained, gilded fortune card. with intricate illustrations over the front and over the back. Okay. And it's the what Ten of the Swords. Fortune? Okay. It's the Ten of Swords. Is there... Is there ten people in this room? There are ten people yeah, in Yeah, there room. are ten bodies. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Would I have... <laughs> I guess since I didn't realize it was a tarot card, would I have noticed if it was, if it had, <laughs> this is gruesome, if it had landed in the neck upright? You wouldn't have noticed, but you can wager from the way that Mage Hand gave it to you that it would have been in the um, upright position. Okay. Painful endings, deep wounds, betrayal, Loss. Keywords. Let's see. Okay. Noted. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Little a normal thing to find. <laughs> I think potentially at about this point. Um, I assume. I think would have probably been. Helping Balthazar, like, try to figure out if we can do that teleportation circle that you spell. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, I want you to roll an arcana. Um, but I think at this point, he's probably, like, regardless of what progress they've made, come back to the balcony and been like, hey, what, what's going on? We're leaving. <laughs> like, <laughs> totally not aware of anything that is going on. Roll me an Arcana check to see how you and Balthazar are getting on. I, we're getting along. We're getting on quite well, actually. Arcana uh, check for that. That's that's a twenty-one. You are getting along quite well. Balthazar rolled a twenty-six. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it doesn't stop him from sticking his head out and going, "Yeah, no, we could use a hand." Oh, uh, uh, okay. And she's just like kind of been like oogly eyes at Cal as Cal is doing probably like. <laughs> 
officially whatever like pop shit leaving he, he is 100 percent been going around um collecting whatever evidence he can before you guys ruin it all yeah and yeah, talking was... into a small sending stone on his collar <laughs> i would like to say yuli will put the card back to figure out what it is she just wanted to know what it was but has no intention of like obfuscating what happened here with the police all right so you are going to restuff that card into this person's neck oh yeah <laughs> yes i am roll me that constitution save <laughs> and this Solely is why... because it's gonna make a squelchy noise you know it's gonna oh, make a squelchy noise oh no and this annoying. is why yuli is second on the list i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> it was a nine do we do we oh, see yeah. this? With a with a nut yeah. Anybody in the vicinity who sees this, please roll a constitution save. Oh my god. <laughs> Yuli has received inspiration. I got a yes. <laughs> Oh no. I got a twelve. Remind me again, how much do I get with inspo? One D eight to add to your roll. Oh my goodness. Uh, does a 13 do me any good? A 13 means you just hit the save. <laughs> okay. <The> acid reflux. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts to come yeah. up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I chose to do this. <laughs> Xanth, you're fine. <laughs> You've heard worse things. Okay. <laughs> Monty, the moment you hear that voice, sorry, that voice, that sound, you know you shouldn't look over, but you do. And as you look over, the momentum of trying to push the card back in this person's slit throat means that the head just rocks backwards <laughs> and is only hanging by, like, a thin strip of tendon. I'm just gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh. I, I just, like, my hands are in this dead guy's pockets, <laughs> and and I just look over, and I just, like, like do my best to clear the bodies. What the fuck, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> because, well, I, 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 I wanted to see what the card was, but then I realized, like, if, if the card wasn't there when, when it was actually, you know, investigated, then they wouldn't... Maybe, maybe this just... is, like, a, a, a thing that oh, always happens, God. and if it was different, Yuli. then... So I put it back. Yeah, you, could, you could have asked me to pick it up. <laughs> what? No. What if there's some sort of weird magic on it? Or, or, I don't or, or fucking it's... care. Uh, uh, okay. I'm I'm very sorry. I'm sorry that I did that. Um, I should have been more aware, given this the situation. And not saying that there is a situation. I um uh, look. I it, have it situation. Ha I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, it, yeah, it happened. I'm very sorry. I'm gonna, I'll just, and she'll walk out. <laughs> Yenna's just gonna be like, stop yelling at Yuni. Let's get the fuck out of here. And I'm, I'm just I'm like, still scratching the bodies, by the way, and I rolled a 19 on that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Wait, after you threw up? No, this was, I rolled it before I threw up, but okay. you had rolled it before. I was yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't okay. mentioned, I hadn't popped it in chat yet because um uh like we were doing other people's stuff but i rolled it beforehand um, what did you roll i rolled a 19. with a 19 you managed to find 250 gold mm -hmm. three notes of service which are essentially um checking books that are already signed that belong to three separate people. Who are these people they belong to? One is your father. Ooh. One is um, a man by the name of Bjornus Vortil. Mm -hmm. And the last one belongs to a Lady Markra. Um, okay, so 
let us go to what else I find, and then we're going to return to me doing a history check to see, apart from my father, if I recognize the other names. Okay. The last thing that you find, other than, you know, pocket lint, mm -hmm. are a set of ten identical rat skulls. My God. <laughs> Little tiny rat skulls. About the size of my thumbnail or pinky nail. About the size of yeah, about the size of your thumbnail. Um, if I see Monty just fucking throwing up and digging through people's shit, I'm gonna try to put my hand on his shoulders and guide him out of there. Um, and I'm gonna roll my history check. Yeah, I go for it. Maybe. Uh, that is a twelve. With a 12, unfortunately, you don't recognize the other names. Okay. Um, I am going to actually... So, I don't know... Do I don't know that Cal's working with the police. So... He just said I... he was, to be fair. Yeah, he but did, I was... He did just say. Um, oh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to actually put everything back... After I, I'm gonna call to Tink and ask him if he knows either of the names. Oh, he he, um, he might be too far to hear you at this moment. But he, I have a, I have a, 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 a sending stone. Oh, though, true, 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 yeah, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use the sending stone to ask Tink if he knows who Jornas Vortil and Lady Makra are. Straight up. You can indeed. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, it's a 26. Hey. You are, you are very familiar with these names. Mainly that they are the names of two other very prominent, very rich families. Um, Lady Makara, not so much a family as she is um, the matriarch of an adopted family, found family kind of situation. She's very fond of taking in young adventurers. And she brings them into the fold of the family. Um, she's seen as a philanthropist and also not somebody that you mess with. Um, her past history includes having saved two continents. <laughs> <laughs> so most people stay away from her. <laughs> She's generally like very well regarded, but she's also new money because she made that adventuring. She made that fortune while she was adventuring. Um, which means that the older money tend to frown on her a little bit. The other name you recognize as someone that your father had always told you to stay away from. They've had dealings with the gold petals in the past. To the point where people from this family have been in the gold petal mansion several times. Every single time you have not been allowed to attend said meetings. Cool. So I'm assuming Tink relays this to, to Monty. Uh, he would relay a very fractured version to Monty right now, just because he's like working. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, he would. You'd get the gist of it. Why the fuck is my f is my father's checkbook in here? And Monty's just gonna say that as he's like putting everyone's shit back. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna look at. I'm I'm definitely gonna hold, like pull, like look at the rat skulls and pull out the tiny cat skull I have in the bag and sort of compare the two. Roll me um, an investigation check. Thank God I have a good investigation because that's an eighteen.
with an 18. You can see marks on both of the skulls in the way that they have been made and crafted that suggest they've been made by the same tools. Um, can I turn them over and look to see if I can find a maker's mark? Roll me another investigation. Actually, there is a mark. I'll let you see that with your last investigation. Roll me intelligence to see whether or not you recognize said maker's mark. That's a nine. No, wait, what is my intelligence? My intelligence is higher than, than two. Sorry. My in no, my intelligence is two. I forgot. So, so yes, yeah, so it's a nine. In which case, you do not recognize that maker's mark. But you it know is that the it's same kind maker's of, mark. It is the same maker's mark. Yes, the the mark is the same on both of the skulls. Um, yeah, I think at this point I'm gonna I'm gonna guide Monty out of there. <laughs> like And I'm just gonna I'm gonna be I, I'm I'm going to be guided out. Um I still have Paul's shit. I did not put Paul's things away. Um and I'm just looking at as I, as I'm being dra dragged out, I'm just sort of looking at my my brother's body and like biting my biting my tongue like my lip to keep from crying, but it's not working. Um, During all of this, Yana, what have you been doing? Um, well, I'll and Cal, and then if Balthazar called her, she would have sort of like yelled at them like, "Let's go! Like we need to leave." fuck this place, and then would have, like, gone upstairs to help out with uh, Balthazar and Tink. Um, what you find when you get upstairs is that Balthazar has torn the room apart, and Balthazar and Tink are just kind of sitting by this um, large spell circle that Balthazar is making adjustments to with a piece of chalk that he's pulled from a pocket. What is, what is this? Teleportation circle? Quest mark? It, yeah, we came through it uh, from the hotel. Uh. Yeah, I asked. I asked my brother uh, if there was a faster way to get here, and like, how how would rich people get? Here? And then uh, did took us to this. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a thing that people do. Do you not use that? Like, why? Why would I? Have Just stares at him like you are a gold petal. You what? Do not do. I mean, things. our our estate is large, but it is not uh large enough to merit a teleport circle. Well, yeah, but like if you wanted to go somewhere that was like far away, like how else are you gonna do that? You're gonna like walk there. You're not going to take a carriage across the continent. I mean, I only really ever left to come here. She's just staring at him like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You're... F Pink shrugs. <laughs> even, even Balthazar's giving you a funny look at this. I don't understand. Like, if we wanted to go to, like, the summer home, we would take a teleportation circle from the city house to the country house. Balthazar's funny look has now turned to Yana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ting's just, like, looking at Yana. <laughs> it's efficient! I, no, I am not disagreeing with you that it's... It, it efficient. I'm also not disagreeing that I think we do have summer homes. I never really uh, I mean no, any when I traveled with my mom, took a 
carriage. We didn't travel a lot, so. Oh. I didn't travel a lot, so. He just well, gets this back has to been work. a great. <laughs> this has been a fantastic insight into uh, the workings of the upper class. Shall we get the spell circle finished? I'm I'm literally doing it. He's looking at Yenna. Yenna's like, okay, fine, but if you ever want to go to the summer house, like you're totally welcome. Um. Okay. Uh, Who did you direct that to? to Tink. Uh, actually, probably in both of them. <laughs> <Just, like, laughs> yeah, I can ask my parents and you tell they come to the summer house. No big deal. Tink resumes uh, giving Yenna a funny look. <laughs> yeah, like, I imagine at this point Tink and Balthazar are both giving Yenna almost identical funny looks. <laughs> it's like, what? How many homes do you own? Um... Well, the there's like you have the... to think about it. <laughs> there's like it's the okay. family homes on both sides, and then there's like the house we live in. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> and he continues scrolling stuff down on the floor. Yeah, Tink's just like, like putting some some like things together, or like trying to make some kind of like makeshift like activator or something, and just being like, see, we were. Kept all of our houses in pot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, as, as they're doing that, she's just like, I don't understand. Uh, she's just like Westerners in her head or some stupid <laughs> shit. Um, and is probably going to like just start reading, like trying to understand. Like, I assume this is essentially like a, a magical equation that is on the floor. It is. Yes. Yeah. If you would like to roll me an Arcana check, absolutely. Is there any chance, like, advantage because this is, like, her field of study? <laughs> Roll persuasion on the DM. <laughs> nope, that's a four. Um... <laughs> okay, uh, it is a 16. You do still have um, an inspiration. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you for the reminder, because I will never remember if I have it or not. <laughs> that was cocked. That's a plus five, so 21. Brilliant. Between the three of you, you figure out this spell circle to the point where it will probably work. Nice. Probably is good. <laughs> <laughs> Yana lives in probably work, so... Right. Tank's gonna run back out to the balcony and be like, okay, are, are we ready? Are we going? We're going. Come get come up here. Yeah. Monty? <laughs> Monty, mm -hmm. Zan, Yuli, would you like to leave? Yes, I want I to mean, go. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yuli would wait for Monty and Xanth, but if everybody was leaving, she'd go. Finally. <laughs> We can escape this place. Take a look. Cariel <laughs> kind of uh, is still going around jotting down notes and stuff, and he just looks up at the balcony and goes, You go on ahead, brother. I will make sure that you've enough money to the accounts so that you can get dinner at the very least. Do so, sure. go extravagant. I don't trust this motherfucker. I'm doing an insight check. <laughs> uh, Tink just nods. He's like, uh, uh, Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. And he's gonna like turn around. And he's like, I'm really not used to him. He calls back. Just put it all on my tabs. Oh, okay. Tink, roll me perception. It's pretty good. I'm gonna say that right now. It's a twenty. <laughs> You hear a small mutter from beside you, from Balthazar, just going, just put it on my fucking tab. Listen, he's trying to help, okay? Like, what do you- what do Your you- Your brother's want? super nice. This is my first time experiencing that. <laughs> Can I inside check that? 
sure, but he's yes. telling Whoever's the truth. doing insight checks, yes. <laughs> I'm doing insight checks on um, Calriel. Uh, as done. I'll 10. deal with your insight check first. No. It's just a ten. <laughs> so your insight, your insight, insight check. God, there we go. Um, <laughs> on Cal, what in specific are you trying to figure out? I want to know if he's uh, staying behind for like a reason that he's not telling us. Yes. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> there is definitely a set to his expression that says there is something that he is not telling you. Uh, do I see him noticing or like looking at anything in particular in the room? I would like you to roll me an investigation check. Okay. Because this is looking for slightly different things to insight. Uh, 16. It's reasonable to assume that he is trying to wipe away the fact that any of you have been there. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot less nefarious than what was in my head, so I'm just going to let him do his thing. <laughs> oh. It's just being nice. I don't, I don't, I don't get, get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't get it. <laughs> Yana, what are you doing insight on? Uh, just on the statement, like, this is the first time I've seen my brother be nice, basically. I was like, what the fuck? Well, I mean, that's between you guys. Uh, yeah, so. no, and, I mean, he is, he's telling the honest truth. He's a shitty liar. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I assume with a 13, like, that would be good enough to, like, like, fully believe that that's true. Like, oh... Uh, with a 13 you true. still you still have some doubts but you'll take him at his word yeah you know just be like okay and she just kind of like nods slowly it's like we'll unpack that later <laughs> that's not a right now problem <laughs> i think this fully this. isn't isn't making any sort of investigation checks because he's like in shock from from okay. everything that's fair with a final stroke of the chalk on the magic circle, you feel the weave spark around you all, and the chalk circle on the ground starts to glow, much as it has when you'd seen it last, Tink. Would you like to leave? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. So it, but it, it like feels right. <laughs> Roll me an arcana check. <laughs> I love that the nerves that Nick has around teleportation <laughs> is just seeping into the game now. It's great. Okay, okay no, but like, it, it, Tink is also uh, mildly a conspiracy theorist as well. So <laughs> <laughs> he also doesn't like teleportation. It's a 17, by the way, for arcana. With the 17, near as damn it, it feels the same, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, he, I mean, he, he kind of, like, it's definitely, like, a grin and bear it kind of situation. He's realizing now that, like, I really didn't want to do this again, but also he doesn't want to have to, like, go across town any other way. And it, it's probably best if no one sees us leave kind of thing. So, like, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 no, it's, he's getting in there. And as you step through, it once again feels like you are being consumed by something from below as you sink into the teleportation circle and space and time bends around you and you end up in the same spell circle room as you were when you first stepped into the circles. Do the rest of you follow? You've just seen Tink sink into the floor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it has no reason not to. Okay, great. I just want to go home and get out of my clothing and mm. yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. So you all go back to the hotel, essentially. There's a mild scuffle at the door when Balthazar comes through again as they try and stop him from going up to the hotel room. Um, but it it 
clears itself quite easily. Um, when you get back, the room is still at the level of comfortable it was when you left. The ice cream still hasn't melted. Yes. Magic ass ice the rest, cream. The rest of the food that you ordered is still there. What would you like oh, to do? Um, I'm you are surrounded go by bath. riches. Monty, the bath is basically a swimming pool. <laughs> Excellent. How many baths um, are there? There are two bathrooms. Specifically, bathrooms. There are other bathing rooms. Right. This this hotel also has indoor plumbing. So, which in Connick, it's a rare thing, but not so rare as never to happen. But the bathtubs are also kept at like a heated temperature. Nice. Um, I, I You're honest, in the lap of luxury, guys. I, I <laughs> honestly think Tink is going to uh, not bother with being in the lap of luxury. And just look at Balthazar and be like, I, we need to talk. I think I think we talk. About what in particular? Uh, the no. thing that happened. A lot. No, a lot of things. I, I A lot of things now. All right, whatever you need to discuss. Um, he'll probably just go into like one of the rooms, not his room, pointedly not his room. <laughs> probably like whatever room Balthazar had picked earlier. He hadn't. He hadn't. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> then <laughs> just just one of them. Then <laughs> fuck it if it was someone else's. Uh, okay, roll me a d10. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't- he chose his room first. He doesn't know who's in what room. Six. Sick. You walk into a room that, uh, isn't filled with anything other than one of Cal's sabers on the bed. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. And Balthazar just like gingerly moves said saber off the bed, then puts it back down and just sits next to it, very confused. Um, I don't know if anyone else now, wants to establish what they're doing because this might take a second, or if we're just gonna get into it. <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? I am floating in the bath and I have definitely just like chucked the remains of dirt uh, into a fire or something because I'm so utterly destroyed and covered in vomit and stuff. I never want to look at that again. Yeah, that's probably a good call, Monty. Probably a good call. The remains of I mean, water. I would my shirt oh, and I yeah. would probably do the same for my trousers, except for I don't have any spare trousers. I have absolutely nothing with me. Who oh has pressed the digitation? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, Yenna has it and also has mending, so could be fixing things if asked. She's probably already doing it for herself. I was and gonna Yuli. say, we would have seen. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's probably fussing over Yuli a little bit. Like, are you okay? Are you fine? She's like, uh, fixing Actually, her own. Can um, they room service? <laughs> They can. I mean, this is a this is a hotel that is used to catering to the rich, the famous, and the infamous. You can one hundred percent room service clothing. Amazing. Monty's put to? in a clothing order. Yes, and it's just <laughs> what have you burn requested? everything that he's. Um, I have requested a new pair of trousers. Um, like. A, a full essentially I've I've requested like full two full outfits and a set of pajamas. Okay. Do you give any specific style instructions or is it just whatever they bring you? Um it is completely gonna that it I'm just he's gonna just give the sort of like just have it 
like the top just describes the sort of shirts that he likes to wear with the like buttons up the side and and whatnot and just utterly is just like i just i just need clothes like he is he is very vague in his directions and yeah so you can would... bring whatever the fuck you want <laughs> nice good to go um yeah would he has specified that it's men's clothes though <laughs> he's very specific he's gonna say that. A can can dress comes up. <laughs> it's so weird. It matches the one Xanth was wearing. <laughs> that That's right. You can put on a show. Um, <laughs> would anybody else like to order room service? It's all um, on the tab at the moment. I don't, I don't think... even know what that is. So <laughs> yeah, I don't think Yuli would. I think Yuli probably like. Um immediately sat down to eat some ice cream and if Vienna is sort of fussing over her she'd probably be quiet for a little bit and then suddenly <laughs> suddenly like she's possessed look up and go there were bodies in there there were 10 bodies in there there were 10 bodies in there and one of them had a had a tarot card sticking out of its neck and 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 I think one one of one of them I think Monty Monty knew one of them and and um and it was it was really awful. It was awful. There were there were there were limbs missing, and 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 that that was the that was the room that fake Xanth went in, right? So like, did fake Xanth do all of that? And like, what what what? what, what? It was it was a lot. I feel like Yana as soon is, as she says like there's like... bodies in there, like Xanth is gonna like sidestep out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yena is like probably like just now frozen having absorbed all of that information it's just like <laughs> 10 bodies you said 10 yeah yeah and uh oh oh, oh my god oh my god and she'll um she'll pull out her notebook and she'll draw what the card looked like do you know this card i don't think i i i i, I, don't, uh, I don't really know much about these um you know like, I, like uh like fortune fortune cards i don't i don't know anything uh, about them really uh, I mean, I don't know that she would know. She'd probably, like, not be super interested in, like, how ubiquitous, I guess, are, are these cards? Because she would, like, be interested in stuff from home, but maybe not stuff from Karnak, specifically. Or not even just be familiar enough to know. Yeah, they are a pretty um, Western kind of fortune-telling yeah. device. So, so. they... Mm -hmm. You've probably heard tell of them, but you wouldn't know how to read them, for instance. Like, they they wouldn't be mm -hmm. so spread all over the place that you'd have had much contact with them before coming to Karnak. That right. being said, they are very popular in Karnak as, like, a party trick. Okay, well, sh she'll just be like, well, that's that's some corny nonsense. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know what it means, but, like, that seems like someone who's trying to, like, trying a little too hard to come off as cool, to be honest. <laughs> Well, but it, I mean, at the end of the day, they're, they're they're trying to say something, you know. That's true. Like there's ten there's ten people dead in there, and this this card has ten swords on it, so like it it means something. Oh, that that's true. Ah, uh... I don't I don't know. I'll I'll try and look it up, but I just oh I don't really want to. Well, I say I don't want to think about it, but I immediately told you all about it, so I guess I'm just I'm thinking about it anyway, aren't I? <laughs> just like, just yeah, start. yeah. Slamming um, ice cream in her mouth. <laughs> she's like, uh huh, okay. Um, I mean, I I don't know a lot about that stuff, but like, you know, Balthazar is super smart. He knows a lot of weird shit, so but he probably yeah. knows, right? Right, right. So yeah, and then like, Tink's brother is a fucking cop. Like, he's gonna see it. You you didn't bring it with you, he... right? No, 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 no! I put oh, it back. Okay. Well, I sh oh my god, I took it out and then I put it, and then I put it back. <laughs> I put it back. Yeah, and I oh. put it back, and it made a weird oh, noise, no. and then everybody yelled at me. It was a lot. <laughs> no, that's what they were yelling. <laughs> it's fine. I I shouldn't I shouldn't have, I just you know I I get so curious, and I thought if I put it back, it's fine. But I, uh, um, yes, we're fine. We're home. Well, home, you know, we're 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 in a in a place where we can sleep and be safe, and uh, and and everything's being taken care of, and it's fine. It's fine. Yes, as long as you didn't like touch it with your hands, because I, I, I just we do not touch things with our hands. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, okay. 
we should talk to man i don't want to call them the adults but maybe we need to talk to the adults because like yeah like that's a lot that's a lot of murder and oh fuck well i mean uh Cal 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 stay behind so he I, I, he he's you know he's, he's gonna like, see it yeah so he'll it's know his job. it's his it's his right job. and, and if we're in danger yeah. he'll send security like that seems like the totally reasonable thing to do right 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 so we're fine can I, can I stay with you tonight i don't want to sleep by myself oh. I thought that was a given, but okay. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay, um, great. Sleep more ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like processing this information. Like, okay, I have to pretend to be cool for like five whole seconds because like, that's a lot. And my best friend just had to see that. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm dumping. I'm dumping on you. I'm fairly I'm sorry. No, you're, you're fine. You're fine. You Honestly? good that you told me because i that's it, it's good to know um and she's just like we should talk about something else I'd... we should yeah. we should do we should do some we should do something else we should um do we at this point know that xander is related to xanth or do we just think that guy just looks like him yeah you just I think that that guy it. looks like him you yeah. you don't know um i um, mean you can posit from the resemblance that they might be related in some some kind of way, or like you don't know. It could be a case of someone stole Zan's face. Yeah, actually, because of that, um, Ganda's gonna like. Ha they've been like kind of huddled together. She's gonna like pop up and like look around rapidly and like try to find Zan. Like just eyes Zanth, on him right now. Zan, roll me stealth for having tried to hide. Okay, yeah, I was trying to go the, the farthest way across the apartment after we started talking about this. Please fail this. I just want to imagine you're standing yeah, I'm, like, I'm really good a really at this. thin oh, no. or something. I'm a dirty 20. Aww. Oh, man. Zanth, you figured out that the farthest door from these guys actually leads out to a balcony? Oh. So you're just you're just hanging out at the I'm brooding on the balcony. Yeah, you're brooding on the balcony, watching the stars. Since the light pollution's not quite so bad this far out of town. Mm. But you guys don't don't see any hide nor hair of Xanth. <laughs> Bye. Um, you can not roll me an investigation him. to try and yeah, see where he is. Yeah, not seeing him. Yenna's gonna be like, where the fuck is he? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, investigation, you said? Yep. Uh, that is an 18 on the dice, plus 6, so 24. Oh my, oh my god. With a 24, <laughs> you can see that the door out to the balcony is ever so slightly ajar. Uh, okay. Um, she's gonna be like, okay, I will be right back. Like, five seconds. Um, I will say, before you leave the room, with an uh -huh. investigation that high, you also see something else. Oh? You see a gold filigree card, intricately illustrated. Mm. Just wedged oh. in the corner of one of the windows. Uh. Okay, she's not going to say any of that to Yuli. She's just going to be like, <laughs> I'll be right back. Takes like five macrons and sticks them onto the ice cream that Yuli is eating, and it's like this one's dulce de leche. You should like definitely eat that one. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, okay. Just one second. Eat. Yeah, um, is going to scamper over, try to get that card as stealthily as possible to not freak out Yuli. Roll sleight of hand. Okay. <clears throat> Natural twenty. Nice. Uh, Yuli, roll me oh. perception. And plus one. <laughs> um, a three? <laughs> you do not see that card. I don't see shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh, yeah, so gonna snatch that and then, like, go out to the balcony and look for, <laughs> look around. Because that's also probably, like, concerning that there's an open, like, to the outside thing when we are, like, worried about security. Yeah, I would say Xanth is, uh, normal Xanth. 
at this point, like half elf, half elf Xanth and not <laughs> um, hot lady anymore. <laughs> okay. It's like, oh, uh, it's just you. Okay. Thank God. Hi. 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 Who was that guy? I'm just gonna close the door so, like, you really cannot hear. Oh, which which one? The guy that looked exactly like you, but, like, older. Oh, uh, um... That was... my... brother? Oh, oh, okay. So that's why he- Did you know that was going to happen? No, I didn't know it was gonna fucking happen! What are you- do you think I would have? Uh, no, no, I don't fucking talk to him anymore. I don't know he was going to show up. You really wanted us to get out of there, though. Like, no offense, but sus. What, what do you mean, sus? They started petrifying people. I mean, yeah, but you were also like, oh shit, we need to leave right now. And then, like, as we're trying to leave, that shit went down. Because I felt like shit was going to go down, and it did. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, why did you know shit was going to go down? Because he's fucking crazy. <laughs> you did know it was him. Did I know it was my brother when he? Yes. <laughs> oh my fucking god! What? <laughs> so your brother's crazy. You knew your brother was there. And you were just no, like... No, I, I saw him when he came, and then I was like, okay, maybe we should go, because he's here. Okay. How fucking crazy is your brother? I don't know, you saw what he... Oh, you weren't... What? Oh no, Yuli told me, and now Yuli had to see it. Yeah, he's, he's that crazy. <laughs> is that crazy? Okay, and then it's just gonna, like, hold up the fucking filigree card. It's like, is he crazy enough to come kill us tonight? Probably. <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah. Um, Zan, the yeah. the card that Yenna has just held up to you is the Page of Wands. Um. Do does it look familiar at all to me? Does it strike any memories or anything like that? It's very familiar to you. Okay. Um, it's very much a card that has been referred to to you in the past. As in, your sister, Thalia, likes to read these cards. Okay. And every time the Page of Wands has come up, she's, like, tucked it in your shirt collar or given it to you. Um, it's her good luck charm for you. I'm going to cast Detect Magic on it. As you cast Detect Magic, um, you do get a flare of magic from the card. Okay, do... Does Detect Magic... That's only Identify, right? That tells you the school. Yeah, it's only Identify that tells you the school. Do you... Do you have... Do you have Identify because T kind of left and I don't... Seems a little... Yeah. Busy. Okay. <laughs> he gets the card back to her. So, definitely magic and some bullshit? I don't know what bullshit, but it's, it's definitely magic. Uh, okay. It's just like holding it. And it's like, I really don't want to touch this more than I have to. <laughs> um, and it's going to cast Identify on it. As Identify flares to life, the magic of the card spells itself out for you. Um, runes and writing and weave separating from it to tell you precisely what it does. And you find yourself faced with a protective spell. It is essentially something that would make whoever holds this card temporarily hardier. It gives the holder 10 temporary hit points. Oh. What the fuck? What? Um... This isn't mean. This is this is nice. It's not. It's a little reassuring, at least. <laughs> he takes well, the card back. Yeah, it, it. It's gonna make you harder to kill. Okay. Gana, do you read Thieves' Cant? Uh, no. I do. 
<laughs> Sam, as you take the card back, you do see written in red on the card is a small scribble of Thieves' Cant mm -hmm. that just says, I don't know what you're into, but stay safe. <laughs> He's going to put it in his, like, pocket. Yeah. Are Monty and Yui okay? Um, no, I think they're not okay. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. Talk to your... Kind of, like, messes up her face to, like, try to find the right word. Like, boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't know. You guys, bestie. Go talk to your bestie. I'm gonna go take care of mine. I... I... We we should all talk to Balthazar. Oh, fucking... Dude, I don't... I don't... He doesn't... What? I don't give it... I don't really want him involved in every fucking aspect of my life anymore. Like, I don't think it's necessary... Okay. She's just, like, making a face of, like, I don't understand what your problem is. <laughs> I just think it would be great if somebody who was more prepared for weird shit, like, knew what was going on. Also that, like, apparently, they know where we are. <sighs> One of I'm telling Cal, you can't stop me. What the fuck? <laughs> Yana's never heard of snitches get stitches. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Sam's <laughs> gonna teach her. Are you some sort of fucking like teachers? You're gonna go tell the two fucking authority figures that we have with us that, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell the people that can make sure we don't die. No, 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 no. We make sure Balthazar doesn't fucking die every single fucking time. He is going to drag us down. About <laughs> no? What? Dude, I swear to God, every time that fuckers come with us, we'd have to save his fucking life. I don't- I'm done with it. <laughs> that man literally saved my life. I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He's also, like, the best tutor I've ever had, and, like, I- I literally don't know what you're talking about. You crazy. <laughs> so, like, has a blank look on his face. <laughs> Dude, he's a fucking, he's a fucking bitch. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't I mean, know what you see in him, but he's literally, he will try to fucking kill you and then you have to go save his life. Like, I don't. Fucking, okay, whoa. He will try to kill you? Oh, I no, don't understand. not like you. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a figure of speech. <laughs> I don't. It's just a figure of speech. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's just like, no, he's the best. I don't, like, understand your problem. Are you, like... I... <laughs> you know, like, you don't have to just... We're not in school anymore. You don't have to, like, suck up to, like, Cal and Balthazar anymore. Uh, whoa. Um... Wait. <laughs> You think I'm doing this for grades? I don't know. What would you be doing it for? <laughs> I don't... Because Balthazar's great and, like, lets me do fucking weird magic. He let me blow shit up. Dude, no one has ever know? let me blow shit up. That's amazing. Also, Cal's really pretty and I'm pretty sure just saved my life, so yeah. Oh my god. I'm... Okay. <laughs> I'm nice to people who are nice to me. Shocker. Surprise! I I guess it kind of is probably different perspectives of conversations I've had with both of them then. I yeah I guess so. Um, I don't know what to tell you. They're very I... nice. <laughs> he kind of just stares blankly at her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> You, you'll fine. you'll see you'll you'll fucking see it's fine <laughs> all right she does not believe you and it's just like uh opens the door and it's like just let's go inside we'll figure it out i'm sorry you don't like them but i trust them okay um, well don't like 
If I like tell you some shit, don't tell Balthazar. Don't fucking. I don't. If it's don't... not gonna put us in danger, I don't have a reason to tell them. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Just. I already like almost died tonight. I don't want to do it again. Okay. I I guess that's a fair thing. And like, we just learned that your brother's like a legit serial killer or some shit. I don't yeah. want to deal with that. I don't really want to deal with it either, to be honest. So I'm kind of suggesting that we don't. I mean, I think Cal's gonna kind of be involved regardless. So if he has resources that can keep us safe, I would like access. That's all I'm saying. Okay, just be careful. He's... he's... Yeah, you too. You're, like, way more involved than I am. No, it's... It's fine. <laughs> he kind of goes and walks back into the room. Look, I just... I, it's your business if you want to suck up to the teachers, it's fine. Just just don't trust them as much as you trust them right now. It, you should probably tone it down by at least, like, 50%. Maybe, like, tink trust is okay, but I wouldn't put it any further than that at this point. Yeah, and I just, like, kind of glares at him and is like, I'm not a teacher's pet. You are, but it's okay. <laughs> Yoli, what are you doing at this point in time? Um, at this point, I would be sitting down eating ice cream. <laughs> She's having a great time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and while this conversation has gone on, have you done anything at all? <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> I did Which a thing the... and I messaged the DM. You did. You did. I'm, I'm giving you. I'm giving you a chance. Of, do you want to tell everybody or do you want it to just stay between us? Um. Uh, I think that it's fine to tell everybody. I'm not trying to like catch anybody out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> Yuli cast um an audible alarm on the entrance to the hotel. Oh, nice. Um. Wait, wait. The so... entrance to the hotel. It's a, no, sorry. Our room. Our hotel room. Okay, all right. Because I was going to say that thing is going. I just, off I just straight minutes. up left. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the entrance to this like fucking loft situation that we're in. All right. In which case, about ten minutes while you're into your ice cream and after you've cast it, it goes off as the door opens. <laughs> Yuli jumps. The person at the door also jumps and yelps and just runs in and throws some clothes at a sofa and runs off. <laughs> what? Thank Who you! While, while yelling, it's room service! Room service. <laughs> thank, thank you, bye! <laughs> Yuli will close the door. I got so confused when you said I forgot Monty ordered clothes and you said throw clothes on them. <laughs> I thought they took off their clothes. <laughs> Different is the wrong sort of room service. <laughs> oh like a hooker just showed up and got scared. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in a cartoon when someone like jumps out of their clothes and then he doesn't toss them all in the bed. In which Hellions briefly becomes Looney Tunes. <laughs> Hellius has always been the yeah. <laughs> Not wrong. This, this, that's, it's been Animaniacs. It's been Animaniacs since the beginning. Okay, oh that, that's, that's fair. <laughs> oh my goodness. And with the clothes just hang onto the chair, we are going to take a very brief break. <laughs> <laughs> so... Thank you all for watching the first half. We'll be back very shortly in about 10, 15 minutes. We just need to get a drink, get up, stretch. We suggest that you at home do the same. Grab a snack, relax, do some stretches. Make sure that you are comfortable. We'll be back soon. It's See you in a bit. It's time for Helions of Karnak. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> And we're back. 
Are dead we silence. Dead. <laughs> okay, because it takes a second. When I say we're back, we're back. Welcome back, everybody, to part two of Hellions of Garnic. Thank you so much if you are joining us in the second half. Hello. Greetings. Oh, we missed you. If you have been here for the first half, then you remember how we left off, but I'm going to tell you again anyway. <laughs> After the drama at the Swan had finally ended, Tink found out that the stone he'd taken from the other timeline had a strange side effect. Luckily, one that could remove petrification from half the party. In doing so, the rest of the party found themselves finally able to move properly again, and so returned and retired to the hotel, the Marriott, down in the Crowns, and submerged themselves in the luxury that Calriol had afforded them. In which Yuli started to panic, but Ice Cream was there to support, and Yenna and Xanth had an argument on the balcony. Argument is a strong word. I felt like for those characters, that was just them talking. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Okay, a strongly worded <laughs> discussion. I feel like that was us getting a lot. <laughs> that was the was most it? words we'd ever said to each other. Yeah. A perfectly pleasant conversation between two individuals. Yeah. Philosophical differences. <laughs> is Balthazar a bitch? That was... <laughs> That's no, of course not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. No. We'll talk about this later. I don't know who hurt you. Yeah, you yeah, you'll down. talk about this later. You'll talk about this later. <laughs> um, <laughs> Monty. Yes. What are you doing? You're still in the bath. I'm you still leak. in the bath. <laughs> Yuli, you just saw uh, room service throw a pile of clothes at a chair. Uh, yeah, I think after Yuli... triggering your alarm. <laughs> yeah, Yuli would try to like casually say bye to the person who did that. Close the door, set down the ice cream, pick up the clothes, and then be like, "Uh, I don't think that she knows which room is Monty's." <laughs> Monty so... hasn't chosen a room. Okay, even better. Um, so she'll, uh, yeah, I think that she'll like, because the clothes were just tossed, she'll try to fold them up nicely and rip a page out of her notebook and write clothes for Monty in big letters and put it on the clothing. <laughs> you. And then sit back down and eat more ice cream because yeah. that's that's helping. That feels good. That's, <laughs> ice cream's that's nice. Helping. Ice cream's good. I think yeah. I at this point, I am going to wander out of the bathroom, like, it, with a towel wrapped around me, going, like, Emma, is my clothes showing up? Oh, yeah, 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 they're, they're, they're um, she'll point. Oh, thank you. And I'm going to go take my clothes. Is that ice cream? Yeah, do you, um, do you want some? Yeah, let me get my clothes on first. I'll be, okay. I'll be right back. And... Monty just sort of like wanders looking for a room that is like not his. Uh, well, he doesn't know which room is his, so he looks for like any of Xanth's shit and <laughs> is just gonna, has has determined that he is just sleeping in the same room as Xanth tonight. <laughs> I love that you all have like a thousand rooms in this suite and you're still like, choosing to bunk <laughs> We've for We've had fuck a off. traumatic night. <laughs> I've had a very traumatic, we've had an incredibly traumatic night. I am not sleeping alone. <laughs> um, yeah. And so I just get changed and then come back. And... As per the last conversation, we both have our emotional support gremlins that yeah, exactly. <laughs> refuse to have leave us alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will exactly. say, all of this is going to count as a long rest, finally. Yeah. Yay. 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 Can we reset it now or later? Can I talk to my to my guy <laughs> yes you can. Then go ahead and reset it now it's absolutely okay. fine cool, cool. <sighs> so tink yeah balthazar's looking at you expectantly yeah. a little bit awkward 
waiting for you to talk. Okay, so yeah, I th- Tink will like put um put Belial's stone down on the desk. Um and put his own stone down on the desk and then like think better of where he's placed it and put them like a little bit Is he still not sure what's going to go on there and like that would just be distracting in this moment. There's a lot to catch mm-hmm, up on. Mm-hmm. You put them far enough apart that they don't harm. Yeah. So I So I mean uh, uh, okay uh you what do you, what do you, do you know how did you get here? How did you find us? As in at the hotel or like the first time? The stones. Do you always not do that? Uh, not that I know. Okay, so you can take a stone, and he holds up his own. (laughs) And if you try to pass the weave through it, it can direct you to where other stones are in the nearest vicinity. So far, I've been able to tell that their maximum range seems to be just outside of Karnak. Good to know. Good to know. And I think he's going to, like, take his notebook out, like, make a quick note, and then close it. And keep going. Okay, so you just kind of scryed your way in here. Who didn't... You didn't talk to Cal. Oh no, I did. I found Cal before I found yourselves. Good. But in, in we a... crossed paths as we were leaving the Lyceum. So... I... He'd mentioned that there'd been a murder on campus. So Tank kind of flinches, realizing that this means that Balthazar doesn't know what happened. I, uh, was uh, Right. And any any uh so I'm uh I'm sorry. It's 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 not important. It it is important. You, it's not You important. sure? I mean we can we can talk about nope, it if you want there's to. There's a, a lot of other things that we really talk about. I saw his body and he he had a scar from the last loop. That's different. And like, it, Balthazar at this point is half off the bed to give you a hug. Awkwardly. And then sits back down and is just like, a thoughtful face. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, how things and that's, I didn't come with you guys. We're gonna look through and did and I had the stone, and he points to the stone that's there, like the Lyle stone that's there now, and it was broken. And I think I, I went back in time, and I got this one. Tink. And Tink. yes, Tink. he stands up, and he really does just put his hands on your shoulders this time, and it's like, take a breath. He does not take this a breath. Is <laughs> <laughs> Malthazar frowns a little. It's like, this is probably something we should discuss as a group. It relates to the stones and therefore relates to all of us. Or do you want me to tell them instead of you? No, we can we we can Yeah, no you you're 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 right. You're right. You sure? Mm-hmm. And he gives Tink a hug anyway. He like 
yes. <laughs> he's, he's very much just, like, hugs him back. Like, <laughs> tries not to cry. Cries anyway. Just wipes his face. <laughs> It's like, yeah, no, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, okay. I think just because, just because there's the loop and there's the stones and there's so much to think about doesn't mean that you can't just take a moment. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's not, and it doesn't have to be. No, it it does have to, and he's gonna turn around and try and open. Balthazar doesn't stop him, mm -hmm. but does just sigh a little and go, "I'm here if you're ever ready to talk." There's like half a nod, <laughs> and he grabs the and and walks back out and I guess just kind of like I think like <laughs> perches like sit is a bad word because it's like for such a tall person to like hold himself over himself as many times as he is um next to Yuli <laughs> like he just like sits <laughs> as if he's like waiting for everyone to come back Balthazar awkwardly situates himself across from Yuli, Tink, and Monty at this point. Yuli's looking around like, what is happening, but doesn't ask any questions. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you on the balcony, are you coming back in, or are you staying out there having that lover's spat? I think we, we already started to come back in, right? Alright, cool. In which case, I I'd imagine we're um, like arguing about Balthazar up to the point where he comes into <laughs> the room, though. Where you come into the room and you're like, oh, yeah, there he is, fucking idiot asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does he walk back into hearing? I need to know this for, for oh, role play man. purposes. Uh, Danny, do you want to take this one or should I? <laughs> now you're just asking if you want it to be good or bad. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, are you there, Danny? You're muted. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Well, if we have if, no Danny. If we've lost Danny, Looks then like... I guess it's bad. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was <laughs> muted because I was coughing. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> no, uh, Yenna's, if, 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 it, if you're leaving it up to Yenna, Yenna is like, Counting off on her fingers, like all the reasons why Balthazar is great. Okay, perfect. In okay. in an attempt to like, and what reasons convince. are you giving? Um, he kind of just like lets her go wild with the magic, like gives her clear guidelines. Honestly, like seems to believe in her ability. Has nurtured like cool magic. This is like best mentor ever. Officer slowly turns red, sits down, just kind of because. Of... <clears throat> He's like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's quite awkwardly enough. Um, and he's just going to motion oh. to Tink. <laughs> yeah. What does Yana say? Sorry. Oh, Yana's going to be like, I used the one thing with the gravity to make it like a little bit extra and it worked really well you would be so proud is it just rolling his eyes <laughs> and it's almost as though balthazar lights up and it's just like does it need adjusting at all or did it work exactly as planned i think it worked pretty much exactly as planned the radius was bigger than i anticipated so i might have to see if i can tweak it but we'll see maybe there's a way that we can put constraints on the spell so that the radius can be controlled yeah, like, why? Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, that would be great because, like, it's cool that it can affect an area, but, like, sometimes I just want to, like, there were so many people, like, I almost did one of the other spells we were working on, but I was, like, really afraid I was going to splatter people, and that just seemed like too much. Collateral damage is never a good idea in the middle of those sort of situations. Right. Do you really have to do okay, this outside um, of school, too? Like, <laughs> some of us like school. That's... That's that's really concerning. <laughs> he sits next to him once. 
I wish I had thermodurgy right now. <laughs> Monty is just like sitting there, like he's not eating his ice cream. He's just like holding the bowl of ice cream, just like looking at it. And then like when he feels it's like Xanth sat down next to him, it just like passes the ice cream to him. So seed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. So, so now that we're all here, uh, I, you left and, uh, can't, mm, I think I went back in time. I went back in time. Tink just like drops this like out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like any, I mean, we all, we all, we, we, we all did that. No, no. Like it, like, like again, like six, six years ago, six years ago. Um, and uh so i got i got a little stone from cal and i i did something and i oh well, i think i kind of saw the way the worked for a minute and then it was uh then i went to uh i don't know it was lots of stairs uh and then i was i was in his house um Precisely how did you get anywhere? What do, what, do, what do you mean? Well, you didn't just magically end up back in time. You said you went to somewhere. How did you get there? I, 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 it, the, the stones, our stones seemed to, so I put them next to each other. And, we, well, first there was a couple, like, he makes like hand motions that are like <laughs> they repelled each other, um, and and then I got I kind of got the parameters right I guess and there was some electricity and then I was somewhere else. Uh, once it happened, I didn't. There wasn't really like a an option, <laughs> you know. I was just I was kind of somewhere else. And then there was a door, and I did. I did, I can't. I so you traveled through. through doorways. Yes. Were they similar to the ones that I use? I uh, not not a little. They not really. The similar, not the same. You see him just nodding thoughtfully, and the motion speed to carry on. And door, and I fell, and uh, there. There's a lot of stairs and uh, the skull, different skull face kind of guy uh, just walked me around a bit. Got to a door I recognize. Odd's house. It, it was. I was there. Uh, in That's like cool. like I I was there. Like me now, but me then was there. Were you there as an observer? Could you affect things? Saw me. Talk to me. Uh, the the skull face is that the same one that we the cat one that we uh, saw. Di different, different. A uh, human skull didn't. Well, no, it kind of spoke, but it was like a wind. Is that a metaphor? No, it is it's very literal, is the best way I could describe it. <laughs> it was more of a, a, a mood reading thing. There were no, not a lot of words. No words. Only, I was the only one who spoke with words. Cool. No words, just vibes. No words, all vibes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. You're telling me that you used a door to travel to what sounds like some sort of pocket dimension. Yes, and then from the pocket dimension, travel back in time. Um, I see. And while you were there, what happened exactly? Uh, it, it was... Uh, what happened there? It, it, uh, we were... I, I then left, um, and when I left, I, when other me left, I tried to just maybe see if I 
you know, through a little... It, if I could affect anything, it was an important variable to test. Uh, and I did, and Palau saw me and closed the door. And I asked him uh, what what was happening, and because his, his, his dad came home and was saying something, and I couldn't hear it anymore. He told me, take the stone from the counter, because that's what I always do. And when he says, like, that's what I always do, he, like, looks directly at Balthazar. That implies you've done that before. That implies that he knows I've done that. That implies so many different things to do with the loop. And and I took it, and it's it, that, that's it. it. And it's not... And that's anymore. the stone that you used tonight. I see. And that's... It's his magic. It, it's it's not mine. I don't know how to do it. I mean, I did in the moment. But I don't. And, and so that, that was my night. Uh... <laughs> He's still, like, folded over on himself, probably, like, petting Noodle. Like, just scritching, like, a little head <laughs> under his chin kind of thing. Right, well... <clears throat> to be the adult of the situation, I don't think we'll achieve anything tonight. You should all get some rest. God knows it's been a long 24 hours. I, I I don't I'm rest after I don't know either. Monty's just sort of staring blankly. Like he's not looking at anyone, he's just like looking at his hands. And I, I I don't I don't know how to rest. How do you all feel about blanket forts? <laughs> this is adorable. Yes, I'm in favor of blanket forts. Balthazar's already moving, pushing chairs together. Oh. <laughs> you like hop so up and immediately hope. <laughs> Xana <laughs> is so confused. I don't think yeah, she Yeah, Xana's like looking at him and trying to connect this man to the one that like threatened him with a sword. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that Yana knows like about blanket forts. Like that's not like really an Eastern thing. <laughs> like not in that way. So I don't think she knows what this is. <laughs> Yana's watching like it's an anthropological like study. <laughs> what is happening? What is this? What are, what are the kids doing? Yenna, do you think that you can pull all of the duvets off the beds? Grab some pillows. Probably. She starts summoning like her tensor's disc. <laughs> it's just to pile stuff onto. <laughs> <laughs> just to carry things. Do you all want to contribute to the bank to the blanket fort with some rolls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's doing what? Who's who's getting what? Blanket fort time. D and D um, blanket. Fort. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> it's really cheesy though. <laughs> what is? Go it? for it. What are you doing? Can I? This is a little um, artificy, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Can I find like little? Um, like glass bottles or something like that, like maybe like shot glasses or whatever's in this place. And there are bottles. Uh, okay, can I make little entire play? mini bar that you can like empty? Can I empty out the mini bar? Um, 
possibly drinking a lot of it. <laughs> uh, Amanti will also be assisting with drinking out of the mini bar. Okay, yeah, I want to make uh, little fairy lights with dancing lights. And... Oh, yes. yeah, we can do that. Aww. That's awesome. Let's do it. Okay, dancing cute. fairy lights. Yeah. Aww. I'm just like wandering aimlessly, uh, finding all, like pulling blankets off of the beds of the rooms that I can find. <laughs> Every time, like, Monty passes by Xanthi, he hands him a little bottle to empty. Uh-huh. <laughs> you just hand, you hand me a nip, and I just, like, down a nip. Yeah. <laughs> I, I genuinely think, like, Tink goes into his room, and for a bit, it seems like he's not going to come back out. And then he just, like, comes back out, wrapped in his blanket, and, like, just sits down where people are making the fort. He's not <laughs> like, like a burrito when he, again! When he has just placed himself <laughs> in, like, a little burrito in the vicinity of the fort. Aww. Return Zanth, of the I want... burrito! <laughs> Zanth, I want you to do um, an intelligence roll with advantage, oh, no. because Monty's helping. Yuli, what would you like to do? I think I think Yuli's probably just helping with general like construction, like using mage hand to hold things up and like you know. Okay, great. If you're helping with construction, you've just given Balthazar advantage because he's, <laughs> great. he's doing the the planning. <laughs> Yenna, would you like to think of something else to do once you kind of get the gist that they're making some sort of structure? Yeah, she's like, oh okay. Um, and she's kind of getting the vibe like, okay, this is a cuddle puddle. Like, she kind of understands that conceptually, <laughs> right? So she's like, okay, what can I do? And she's going to go, and if if Tink Burrito already exists, she's just going to be like, what's your favorite smell? What's your favorite smell? <laughs> He's too wholesome for us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I genuinely don't think I've ever thought about this. <laughs> I think he just like kind of haplessly looks at her and he's like cookies. Okay. <laughs> cookies are good. Um, and she's going to use prestidigitation to make the blank that he's wrapped in smell like brown sugar and vanilla. Brilliant. Wraps himself tighter. <laughs> um, and then she'll also like make a little area, like steal whatever is the fluffiest duvet, like an asshole, and then like make a little nest for her, for her and Yuli. And she will also use prestidigitation on that to make it smell sort of like sandalwood. This is so wholesome. <laughs> I love it. You don't need to you don't need to roll since you're using like spells to do it. Um okay. Hmm. Althazar rolled a 26. What do you guys want this blanket fort to look like? Because it is the sturdiest thing that's ever been built. What if it's to... like a little mini version of the school? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want it to be a little mini castle made out of chairs and sofas? <laughs> yes. Throw it okay. It's made out of chairs and sofas, and Balthazar's bought all of the snacks that won't make a mess inside, and he leaves them in there. Zanth, there's plenty of room for you to put up the fairy lights. You've got <laughs> as however many you would like from what you rolled. Um, just enough to light up the inside so there's not a lot of dark places in there. In case like enough reading light throughout the entire thing if that's possible. You see Balthazar kind of nervously pulls a couple of crystals out of his pocket and a little device, and he sets them to rotating. And it's music that you guys can mess with. <laughs> Adorable. And once you're all situated with your with your blanket fort and everything, he's just like, I'll I'll keep watch and make sure everything is safe. 
and gives an awkward thumbs up and just kind of sidles <laughs> away. <laughs> Monty has, has, has crawled the into the has has crawled into the blanket fort and is just like in a in as small a ball as he can make himself, just like on the ground. He's just next to Tink. <laughs> he hasn't thought to grab a blanket or anything. He's just like curled up next to Tink. Yeah, I was gonna say if he doesn't have a blankie on him, I think Yuli would put a blankie around him. <laughs> Everybody's cozy. Yeah. Thanks. She'll um yeah, she'll like tuck it in. <laughs> like a mom <laughs> and uh yeah if he says thanks she'll like kind of pause for a second and then give him like kind of an awkward hug because they're like not friends really but she'll like give him a little hug and be like i um i i i, I know that that was really hard earlier and i don't know exactly what what you know the context was but um uh Oh. Oh, Monty, I um, I'm so sorry. And this is really the point where Monty just like he's been he's been slowly breaking down, but at this point he's just completely lost it, and it's just sort of his he's just sobbing completely like. Yuli will, uh, the awkwardness is gone. Yuli will just go in and just give him a big hug. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think Tink could let him be like close by and like not hug him. He'll, he'll get them both in the little blanket <laughs> and a little hug. <laughs> Aww. Monty's feet just sticking out of the blanket because he's too tall to really get in there. <laughs> oh, our dumb kids. Would you guys like to do anything else with your night, or is this how you would like to take the rest of your long rest? Yeah, this is how I'm taking the rest of my long rest. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we just <laughs> exhaustion sleep at this point, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's been a rough 24. I know. Yeah. Holy shit. In the safety of the blankets and the fort that's been built around you, you guys start to drift off to sleep. At some point, you think that there was definitely an alarm set off as Cowriel's voice came in swearing at the loud sound. <laughs> but it was quickly quieted by a hasty dispel magic <laughs> <laughs> and a loud shh. <laughs> Kids are sleeping. And that's how we're going to leave this session. Okay. It's been a bit of a short Whoa. one tonight, but it's late for several people, so we're gonna end it there. It's a good point too. Yeah. <laughs> well, a good session, guys. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us at home. We've had a fantastic time. I hope you guys have too. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful seeing you all talk and chat. It's been great. Um, yeah, if you've liked what you've seen tonight, feel free to follow us. Uh, we do show every monday um and we have a bunch of other shows on the channel that will be coming up as a quick reminder we have sleepless nights that happens on tuesdays so that'll be tomorrow uh it's 8 p.m eastern 8 p.m eastern yeah yeah and we've got a brand new show coming up on the 26th that you should keep your eye out for um run by our illustrious dm fabs it's going to be a good one and uh, yeah, feel free to join our Discord. If you would like to um, help support us, you can subscribe here for some cool little rewards, or you can head on over to our Patreon and check out what we've got there. Um, we offer homebrew stuff. We offer a spicy tier <laughs> that it's mainly Ned and Nick contributing to. Um, I've been and really lax the last yeah, last we, while. I will say we've been slacking the last little bit, but if you were to join for the first time now, there's a lot of back content. I will say that. There is. <laughs> there is. Um, and if you like Hellions in particular, we as a group post a lot of play by posts on Patreon um, that will soon be coming to Archive of Our Own. 
<laughs> but it, they'll go up a month early on Patreon, so. But yeah, uh, thank you so much to our existing patrons. We couldn't do what we do without you. And it's been an awesome night. Keep on rolling. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.